नमस्कार सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सपैंड साइन एक्स बाय मैकलोरेंस थ्योरम दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिजल्ट टू रिमेंबर बट टुडे वी विल फोकस ऑन हाउ वी कैन डिराइव दिस रिजल्ट बिकॉज दिस एक्सपेंशन ऑफ साइन एक्स इज यूज वाइडली वाइल सॉल्विंग लिमिट्स एंड ऑल्सो इन हायर मैथमेटिक्स एज वेल सो विल गो स्टेप बाय स्टेप सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू एज्यूम we need to expand sin x so let sin x so fx equals to sin x this is the first step what is your next step we'll differentiate fx at least 3 to 4 times okay so if i find the first derivative of sin x that is cos x if i find the second derivative so just differentiate cos x that is negative of sin x third derivative sin x derivative is cos x and one minus sin is already there fourth derivative cos x derivative is negative sin x one minus sin is already there so plus sin So we have calculated at least till four derivatives. Now, for every step, find the values at zero. So we'll find f of zero. So that is sine zero is zero. We'll find f dash zero. So cos zero is one. We'll find f double dash zero, so sine zero is again zero. Third derivative at zero, so cos zero is one, so negative one. And fourth derivative at zero, so that is again zero. Now you know the Maclaurin result that we have that series that is. f x equals to f of zero plus one x multiplied by derivative of f x at zero. Then you can assume in the first term x power zero divided by zero factorial is there. You can assume in second term x power one by one factorial is there. In the third term x power two likewise by two factorial is there. and whatever is the power of x same number derivative at zero so second derivative at zero i hope you can uh, recognize the next term power of x is 3 same factorial in denominator same derivative same order derivative at zero if you want to write one more term then you can write x power 4 4 factorial Fourth derivative we can also write like this at zero, and we can keep on writing, but you can leave it. Now let's substitute the values that we have uh, gathered previously. So your f x will be f of zero is zero. Now f dash zero is one, so. X into one divided by one factorial is nothing but one. Ah, uh, sorry, x. Then x square by two factorial. So that is x by two. But f double dash zero is zero. So this term vanishes. Okay. X cube by three factorial triple derivative. So that is minus one. So you will get there minus of. x cube by k factorial is six, and uh, that is uh, negative one. I minus sign I have already. Fourth derivative is again zero. So this is something we need to take care of. That some terms are vanishing. Uh, the first term also vanished. So we require to write at least four terms. Okay. So uh, we have written. only two valid terms till now this one and the this one but we have at least got some pattern 
right that uh, if there is x power uh, 1 the factorial is 1 factorial if we have got x power 3 we have 3 factorial and alternate plus minus sign is there so next term and power of x is odd so 1 3 then 5 but with 5 you'll get plus so x power 5 by 5 factorial you can write let's write this as 3 factorial only to maintain consistency next term can you imagine alternate plus minus so minus sign power is jumping by 2 so x power 7 7 factorial plus so okay I would have formed more values by taking derivatives and putting 0 in each derivative. But yes, you need to recognize pattern as well because someday you need to remember this as well. So what is the, you can say, trick to remember? Because at the end of the day, you will not write this 0. Okay. So this is the uh, expansion that you will see in the textbook. So whatever is the power of x, same is the factorial denominator and you are getting alternate plus minus and you are getting power in difference of 2. So 1, 3, 5, 7. So three things to remember if you want to remember this. First, power factorial same. powers are like uh, 1, 3, 5 and so on and the third thing that uh, you are getting alternate plus minus okay. fine anyway you can remember that x power 0 is 1 but that term is not coming so you need to take care of that also otherwise uh, these three are just for remembering you can anyway derive it it is it will not take more than two minutes to derive this okay i just took time so that uh, it's uh, it will be easily explained to you but this will not take much of a time so next uh, we'll look at uh, some other expansions as well in the later videos and you'll get all of this in the playlist differential calculus so we'll see you uh, with some more expansion. Thanks again.